Located in southern Georgia is the city of Vidalia, home of the famous sweet Vidalia onion, yum yum. Though small in size, Vidalia's musical artistry is vast, birthing some of music's finest artists such as the Wardlaw Brothers, Craig Campbell, and Tyrone Coleman. Among the ranks of these musical stars is Mr. Benjamin Phillips, a native of Mosley Town and longtime resident of Vidalia, Georgia. His music has impacted the lives of many locally and yet continues to inspire others all around the world. This is Ronnie Dixon, Mayor of the City of Day, and on behalf of the city, I just want to congratulate Ben Phillips on his 65 years of serving the community uh, with his music playing, and uh, he's been a great inspiration to a lot of people in our city, and I just want to take this opportunity to congratulate him. We certainly have He's been an inspiration to a lot of people in this area, and I hope that he'll continue to be that. And I just thank him for all the service to the community. This is it. This is where it all started at, right in here. Been quite a few to then come through here and then got out there on the road. I was raised up out in a little country town called Mosley Town, out in the country. Where we kind of, hey, when I didn't have anything to do, I kind of run around out there and frame it on the guitar and play music. Late at night, we sit up out there, me and my sister and mother and all the family, we sit up out there and sing, you know. So that's been a part of my life, music and singing. Mm -hmm. Today I'm still framing on it. <laughs> you know, it's, it, I thank God it's just a pleasure to leave me here this long to be able to still play for churches and groups, and groups around the country as we travel all over Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, New York, all up in them states, playing around with different groups. I just thank God for leaving me here. At that time, back in the 40s, Guitar was a popular instrument it was back there because it wasn't anything called keyboard back then. The piano and old organ, you had to pump it up to play it. So, And I just loved the guitar at that time because it made the loudest noise. So I, that's what I went for. As time passed by, thank you be to God that I was influenced to come back to the church. You know, if I got, got enough running up and down the road in them nightclubs, Ducking ballers throwing, you know, I come back to the church and thank God I'm, I'm blessed to be here today. Anybody want to play, I just share with them what God gives to me. And, I just pay, try to pass it on to everyone I can. Not really teaching music, but I, the chords and different, you know, notes and all. I, I, I really didn't, at that time, were taking up music, so I wasn't blessed to get into music, you know, learning the theories of music, but God, He also blessed me that I have a, a good ear. I can hear everything it is about notes and and I, I, some of them be singing and playing, saying I'm really too hard on them because I guess the way I was brought up, and I, I never wanted to be made ashamed. <laughs> Thank 
God. He let me stay right here long enough to kind of pass it on to someone else. chance to play with hey, the old godfather, B.B. King, when I always try to palatinize them when I was out there playing. But that was a proud moment, I got something to remember down through the years. Who is very much so a family man, has one living sister, Miss Pauline Phillips. Grew up in the town, and, and then he got elected to play this. He played a little organ too and, and, get, and the guitar, but he didn't ever learn me how to play. And, uh, but he's really, really clean. You couldn't mess with his car. <laughs> Put your hand up on him. And his guitar. And if you don't play right, he'll stop it right there. No man, no man ain't right. And, and so we went, to, we went to church every Sunday. We grew up in church, my mama and daddy, and we had a, we, we were a good close family. And I tell everybody, there ain't nothing that prayer won't do. Mm -hmm. Prayer was brought him, prayer brought him a long ways, yeah. and I was I was right there, I know because I was there as I was my baby brother, and uh, I was all was just three of us, and we stayed together right on after my daddy passed. And, I lived with them and stayed with them and left, left the job that I had in Miami, moved home, me and my wife, and one child. I stayed there until we got everything cleared. Then I left and moved to Vidalia. And he, he brought, come on on his own, got married, and, and I can sing the song, Look Where God Had Brought Him From. The music giant's daughter, Valentina Hill, articulates her thoughts and feelings regarding her father. My father, who is um, a legacy in his own time, um, Deacon Ben Phillips, um, has just been the greatest inspiration in my life. Um, he raised me up um, in a family of prayer, a family that um, just had a love for God. And no matter where I went, I couldn't run away from it, um, the things that he instilled in me. My father is just not a man that's there for his family, but as the documentary shows, he's there, he's a father figure for so many. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, this is a uh, new golden tone from Southeast Georgia. Hey, we did a recording back a few years ago before we kind of, hey, everybody kind of scattered, went their way. We had, from left to right, Brother Raymond Collins, hey, one of the finest guitar players in Southeast Georgia here. Next is uh, Pastor Vincent Holland. Next is uh, uh, Brother Mc Willie McGurk, fine singer, a hey, lead singer. Next is Brother Jesse Gillis, one of the baddest lead singer around, hey, Southeast Georgia, around by there. Yours truly standing on, on the right there at the top. 
And you know who that is. The one, King B. Hey, some call me the King B. Yes, sir. In the Queen City, Bayou, of Georgia. And down at the bottom, another one of my good friends, Brother Roosevelt Wiggins. And my nephew, LaShawn Davis. Hey, one of the talented musicians from this part of the country. Keyboard, drum, guitar, bass, whatever you name it. He can play it or he can sing it. So that's the New Golden Tones there out of Southeast Georgia by the I don't have to uh, wait until he's dead and gone to give him his flowers. I give him his flowers now because once we're all gone, uh, the love we have can never be expressed once we're gone. So I'm just one of those kind of people that like to show you how I feel while you're still here. And I'm thankful. And I'm very grateful. And thank you, uh, Minister Mike Manis, for taking this time to do this documentary and for looking back and seeing the legends and legacies that our people are doing to try to uh, preserve this so that the upcoming age will know how we all got uh, where we are. going to go and kind of visit some of the old groups I used to play for, which was named kind of after me, the Phillips Special. So we're going to go in here and kind of powwow with them. Yes, sir. This is one of them. This is my niece. She always sung the high soprano. You think we still got it? Yeah, girl. We got it. Let's sing a song. All of my This morning? Yeah, I'm making it. I'm making it fine, how you said. I'm doing pretty good. Bless you, bless you. So you headed to where this morning? Oh, we headed over to harvest time. Have a good time in the Lord. We're gonna kinda get over there and pick and green a little bit.
31 years uh, since um, uh, I've come first to know him. I'm married to his daughter, and uh, it's uh, it's been 31 great years. Uh, I've learned a lot uh, from him. Um, you know, I, I was uh, was not raised with my father uh, being around often, and, and he has really uh, shown me what and still get on me about what a man is supposed to do. I tell you what, like I have said earlier, you know, since since I come back out of the world playing the secular music, you know, anytime I get with the guys here, you know, Mr. Wilcox and Mr. Torrance Holland and Mr. Croom, uh, you know, we just get together and have a good time. And I tell you what, all all our Thinking and putting our head together, sometimes we bump heads on, you know, different parts and music and singing. But hey, we hide it out, hey, and it all work out good. But I always come up playing in churches, and, and, and I, I've been having a good time. Just, let, just turn loose and let, let the spirit have its way. McManus Productions reached out to one of the biggest names in the gospel music industry, the ambassador of gospel music, Dr. Bobby Jones. Well, hello, Mr. Benjamin Phillips, better known as the King B. I'm Bobby Jones from Black Entertainment Television Network, and I just wanted to say something to you for the great work that I hear you are doing in the state of Georgia. Yeah. I heard you knew the Wardlaw brothers, and I know them and others, but when you help other musicians, as they say that you've been doing, that's a great thing, my brother. God bless you, keep you, and stay country, and so will I. I'm Bobby Jones. Congratulations again. We always can call on Mr. Phillips, and he would promise us, and he, if there's something he got to do, he tells us right up front, you know, I can't be there until a certain time, you know, but you can look for him at that time, and we appreciate that too, because so many more musicians, um, Made a promise and never showed up. But um, Dean always was there for us, you know, we appreciate it. We just all, all around Georgia, you know. We, we used to go to Florida every third weekend in September. You know, we used to travel to Florida and Dean and, and his friends sometimes went with us, you know. We took his friends with us, you know, several times, you know. And we just had a glorious time down there, you know. Phillips' music has inspired and impacted countless lives. Some here express their sentiments of the musical legend and offer congratulatory comments. Hello everybody, I'm Tony. I'm Luke. This your boy Jamie. Yo, I'm Carl. And yeah, I'm Rodney. We're TWB. The, the Wardlaw Law Brothers. Brothers. You know it. Uh, listen, we're just stopping to give a shout out to none other than our very own Uncle, Uncle B. B. Uncle B. Uncle You B. Listen, what's happening? it's just been a blessing to be able to work with you. Um, yes. In the past, during I will put my life in yeah, your hands. Yeah, 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 yeah. Looking back there and seeing you strumming that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dancing across the stage. Dancing across the stage. Oh my God. Yeah. 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 Listen, you really touched our lives, and we just thank God for the opportunity to have worked with you in the past. This is very much deserved. We love you. God bless. And I want to thank him for everything that he has done in this community. He has impacted lives more than what we can say on this camera. There's a lot of things that if he would be able to have the time to tell, I'm pretty sure there's a lot would be left out because he has really preached his whole lifetime. And um, as the song says, may the work I've done speak for me. Uncle Ben, it's time for you to allow yourself to sit back. All these different people that you have taught and all the different ones that you have giving lessons to. It's time for you to pass the baton and sit back and enjoy your life because you are the best. I just want to let everyone know that my Uncle Ben is the best guitar player out there. And I just want to tell you Uncle Ben Right.
right now, I just want to tell the whole world, you know, I, I, I have given God my best. And as long as the Lord give me strength, I'm going to keep on, I'm going to keep on, keep on. So we just asking each one that, that watch this video, or this documentary, I, I want to keep on praying for them. That God keep me strong and able to keep on going. God bless you.